In today's video, we're going to take a walk on the wild side. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Grown and Healthy, the channel where we explore self-improvement through movement. And in today's video, I'm going to review the flying fox from Wilding. Now, Wilding is a German company that has entered into the barefoot shoe community. Now, they are a buzz all over the forums and I believe with good reason. Now, this shoe I purchased in September looking for a all season shoe and an upper in this case. Now, this is again an all season shoe, so there is no insulation, but from the fit and finish of the shoe, I believe that if you can add insulation through the form of socks, that you will find this a year round shoe. If your climate is as mild as mine, which it will probably get as low as 35 degrees Fahrenheit at its worst. Now, this shoe is full of surprises. In fact, overall the company is, from their marketing to their material that they send with you and to the styling of the shoe, I believe that the company is going above and beyond in terms of giving the customer true value. Now, this Flying Fox is in a size 46, something I'll get to in a moment comes in a black colorway. It is of a knit twill upper with this black microfiber material that goes along the toe counter, midfoot connecting to the heel counter. The inner lining is cotton again in this offset of blue and black stripes. The sole of the shoe is padded slightly with a hemp flax fleece. Now by padding, this is probably less than two millimeters, but in terms of comfort, it makes a great difference. Not enough to dampen the sensitivity of your feet, but enough where you can appreciate a little comfort, but it's still not as thick as a normal inner sole would be. Now the outer sole is amazing in terms of its design and its grip designed in a way in which allowing for a neutral gait pattern, you see this break point folds the shoe at an angle, keeping your foot in a straight and neutral path and allowing it to bend at the proper points, as opposed to conventional shoes in which people develop a duck walk because they're toes are unable to actually dorsiflex through a natural gait function. So Wilding has put a lot of effort into the design and I think they've done a great job. It has a mock tabby toe lip along with double stitching throughout this microfiber counter material. In fact, you can see even on the cutaways of the outer sole that the microfiber envelops the whole sole of the shoe through these cutout portions. The design of this outer sole gives phenomenal grip. Now, this is not a work boot, so the treads are not as substantial. This is more of a city shoe, something that you could wear to the office, to a casual brunch. In fact, you can wear this shoe pretty much anywhere because of the high level of detailing. The shoe looks very bespoke. You can get that feeling when you look at the details such as the red eyelet at the top and the stitching that runs alongside the upper. There has been a great attention to detail by the company in creating this shoe. The manufacturing of this shoe is handmade and it feels and looks bespoke. Now, this is as close as you're going to come into having a tailor-made barefoot shoe. It is very flexible, well-crafted. There are no gaps in the seams. There is 
only comfort to be had from wearing these shoes. I mean, the level of detailing is so high with the color keyed logo on the heel counter, color keyed logo on the tongue. Along with that, the tongue is thinly padded. Again, this is supposed to be an all season shoe that you can even wear in the summer and any insulation that you will feel from this shoe will be provided by your socks if you have shoe warmers or wool socks. The heel strap runs the length of the heel all the way down to the sole of the shoe in this, what feels like a cork leather material. And it is well done and feels excellent when you're not wearing socks in this shoe. In fact, overall feel of the shoe is exemplary. It feels really great. It is light. The shoe weighs in at 266 grams. Toe box width of approximately 115 millimeters. Now that is par for the course amongst barefoot shoes. Wide toe box, zero drop heel, flexible outer sole, and very lightweight. The color keying gives this shoe the chance to be worn at nighttime events and to look great and understated during the daytime. Now, when it comes to sizing, I would have enjoyed wearing them even more if they had fit to my liking. Now, I ordered on their website an 11.5 men US size and I received a 46. Now, because of the nature of barefoot companies, I've only bought shoes through the internet and most 11.5s, if not all that I can remember, are a uh, Euro 45. Now on their chart, their sizing says that an 11.5 in US is actually a 46. And if I were to get a 45, that would be the equivalent of a 10 and a half in US men's. Now, because of the discrepancy, I decided to err on the side of the US size because that for sure I know. I've lived in the US all of my life and I have worn an 11.5 for most of my adult life. So with that being said, I'd rather buy the 11.5 than take the chance of buying the Euro 45, which could end up being an actual 10.5, which would never fit me. They do have a size app in which you can use in order to ascertain what the right size for you will be. So if you are going to buy these shoes, understand that you cannot go with your normal sizing, that it is imperative that you go and look at their sizing chart and then take it a little further and use their recommended process of finding your size. Now, in terms of durability, again, this is city living. This shoe is not designed by my estimation for heavy outdoor work. This is something far more casual, far more upmarket, and I would save a shoe like this for more special events or special occasions than to be kicking up mud. That being said, the company stands behind its durability, even in the outdoors. Now, this shoe is not waterproof, but they do offer a waterproof spray in which you can then apply to this shoe. The laces are standard laces. Again, color keyed towards the black colorway of the shoe. Now, I find the company has gone through great lengths to give the best customer experience. Even with the sizing discrepancy, I still found these shoes extremely comfortable and good looking. If you are in the market for barefoot shoes, which I'm sure you are since you're watching this review, I would consider buying a shoe from Wilding and experiencing it. They offer your first return for free. I'm not sure what happens afterwards in terms of the fees, but I do implore you to give the company a try. A lot of younger or smaller brands could deal with more support in order to then innovate their process 
of delivering great goods to us. You're not taking much of a risk with buying these shoes because they are that well made. A lot of thought has gone into the making of this shoe, even by the use of their organic cotton material for the upper, I think half of the inner lining. I think when you go into the website and you see how much detail and information that they provide about each and every shoe that they have in regards to the provenance of their materials, in terms of the culture that they are trying to build around barefoot shoes, I commend them on that. And I do like many of the designs that they have. I hope that they will release future shoes with more of an athletic leaning in the future. But for now, I see mostly casual footwear and I've seen one running shoe, which may be a running shoe, which hopefully can be the next wilding shoe that I review. Overall, at $120 plus shipping, I find this shoe to be a great value. And that's pretty much all you want, a good looking shoe that meets the requirements of a barefoot shoe, providing you with ample room and flexibility while being lightweight and offering you the added benefit of high style. If there is a shoe that I look forward to wearing on a daily basis, it is these shoes. I know I give glowing reviews all the time on this channel, but understand that this is because I only review shoes that I like. I find it arduous to edit videos. And so when I do decide to take the chance to edit a video, I at least want it to be about a shoe that I would like to share with others. So if you are in the market, please consider these shoes. This is not a sponsored review. I really do like these shoes and I am wearing them on a regular basis. As you can see, um, the dirt that I've accumulated on the front. All right, guys, enough rambling from me. If you like the shoes, buy these shoes. You won't regret it. This has been Grown and Healthy, the channel where we explore self-improvement through movement. Thank you for watching.